I also like to rope in Major Mohammad Shah, is a defence expert, also belonging to the Empire panel. He's joining us live on the broadcast. Major Shah, I'm sure you've seen the bone-chilling footage which we are putting out on news sets. It's also been circulating on social media. It actually, would you say today, it shows how this murder was premeditated, pre-planned, because uh, it's very clear that uh, these two people who killed uh, Umesh Kole were trailing him. Uh, they caught up to him and if you look at the footage very, very carefully, one of them is carrying a sharp object with which he slits his throat and then two of them casually go away on the motorcycle. Would you say one, a premeditated murder and second, a result of complete indoctrination um, which ensures that these people have absolutely no fear of the law as well? You said, Minakshi, first which is no fear of the law of the land. There's no fear at all. There are a couple of reasons for that. I'll come to that as well. Why? And the radicalization that they have. No, I mean, they are totally, they're challenging the system. That nothing can happen to us. No, let's see what will happen. First, and it was already, it was pre it was pre-planned. It is very obvious. It's evident to us that for everyone. Secondly, now when such kind of crimes happen, this is not the first time it's happened. And I hope, this is the last time it's happened. I hope. I really hope, but uh, we know how it is, right? So, when such a crime, crime happens in broad daylight, Rachi, yes. I refuse to believe that our countrymen are so scared that they would not come in and intervene. I agree, I understand that life is important for everyone. Everyone loves their life. You know, people think 10 times they dare. But I haven't been me. I'm not uh, boasting about it. I haven't jumped into it to interfere. Beat at the peril of my life. I would have done it. And like me, I would expect other onlookers also to be like the way an army guy, a Fauji army, not only Fauji, a daredevil or a person who thinks that way. But now, I don't believe again, as I said, that people mm -hmm. would not want to. Oh, they, they would have intervened in yeah. their own way, which means, how difficult is it to, if you are actually generally scared, to hide somewhere and dial 100? It's very easy. Mm. Have the police helpline numbers. It's very simple. Agreed. But also, what should be actually inquired is how many calls were made to the police helpline at that time and what was the response? Yes, of oh, the po police? point taken. The response of the police, the role of the police, that's already in the talk. I'm going to come to you first, Major Shah. Just look at the irony, sir, of the news which I just read out. These people had got a knife prepared for, of course, a very auspicious occasion, but ended up misusing it. Obviously, these are self-radicalized people who were radicalized by YouTube videos. Um, they were also quite influenced by ISIS, uh, you know, uh, uh, wo information warfare, which they launched on social media. Really, today, as a member of the Empower panel, what is the message you'd like to give as we close this discussion, sir? Um, actually, very good question by you. And please, I mean, uh, you have to be educated. Educated does not mean literate, being having a college or a... PhD, for a degree or a PhD, no. We have to understand the fact that you know, these kind of brutal killings, murders, I mean, they are, one should always believe in the law of karma at the end of the day. One should know, I mean, what is wrong, one is right. One should have the basic common sense. And even if they think, uh, how foolish of them, that they're doing it for a cause that's ridiculous, that's foolish. Ultimately, who gets a beating? Who gets a beating even if they think and they cannot get away with a crime like that? A heinous crime. How long will they escape? So the message I would like to give to people who would be on the cusp of perhaps getting radicalized by whatever we mean, YouTube videos or whatever, I mean, whatever rubbish. Right. Please do not get, don't use your top story. Use your own brains. Don't let anyone brainwash you. Don't get carried away. It is very important to analyze, introspect, and then see what wrong is happening in the society because I strongly believe that the society will not change unless and until we change our own selves. So the change starts from here, from now. Okay. We do not get carried away. Well, absolutely. And that's a very pertinent point uh, which you raised. Thank you all for joining us on the discussion.